The day is done. The day is done, and the darkness falls from the wings of night, as a feather is wafted downward from an eagle in his flight. I see the lights of the village gleam through the rain and the mist, and a feeling of sadness comes o'er me that my soul cannot resist. A feeling of sadness and longing that is not akin to pain, and resembles sorrow only as the mist resembles the rain. Come, read to me some poem, some simple and heartfelt lay, that shall soothe this restless feeling and banish the thoughts of day. Not from the grand old masters, not from the bard sublime, whose distant footsteps echo through the corridors of time. For, like strains of martial music, their mighty thoughts suggest life's endless toil and endeavor, and tonight I long for rest. Read from some humbler poet, whose songs gushed from his heart, as showers from the clouds of summer, or tears from the eyelids start, who, through long days of labor, and nights devoid of ease, still heard in his soul the music of wonderful melodies. Such songs have power to quiet the restless pulse of care, and come like the benediction that follows after prayer. Then read from the treasured volume the poem of thy choice, and lend to the rhyme of the poet the beauty of thy voice. And the night shall be filled with music, and the cares that infest the day shall fold their tents like the Arabs and silently steal away. The Arrow and the Song I shot an arrow into the air, it fell to earth, I knew not where, for so swiftly it flew, the sight could not follow it in its flight. I breathed a song into the air, it fell to earth, I knew not where, for who has sight so keen and strong that it can follow the flight of song? Long, long afterward, in an oak I found the arrow still unbroke, and the song from beginning to end I found again in the heart of a friend. THE EVENING STAR Lo, in the painted aureole of the west, Whose panes the sunken sun incarnadines, Like a fair lady at her casement, Shines the evening star, The star of love and rest. And then anon she doth herself divest Of all her radiant garments, And reclines behind the sombre screen Of yonder pines, with slumber and soft dreams of love oppressed. O oh, my beloved, my sweet Hesperus, my morning and my evening star of love, my best and gentlest lady, even thus, as that fair planet in the sky above, dost thou retire unto thy rest at night, and from thy darkened window fades the light. 